Hey guys, Yuck from Team Super 7, Sen 477. Today, we'll be talking about while loops. Previously, we talked about if loops. But a while loop executes a block of code as long as its condition remains true. So, to show you this, we're going to make a program that will ask someone for their favorite color. If they don't type anything, the program will keep repeating itself because the condition remains false. I mean, remains true. Sorry. So, to begin with, we need something called a scanner. Since we haven't talked about a scanner, it's mostly used to receive, like, user's input, um of uh, phrase them into like a, a primitive data types like int, double, or default strings. It also provides methods for reading input from sources like consoles, files, or network conditions, basically taking input from a console. Now like the more in-depth um, definition would be like, um, so how it works, a scanner breaks the, its input into like tokens using a delimiter pattern which by default matches white space. The resulting tokens may then be converted into values of different types using various next methods. Basically how you create the scanner is you do um, scanner scanner equals new scanner and then you do system dot in, like I showed here. And in order for it to work, you actually need to import it. So you would do import java dot util dot scanner. So that's basically what a scanner does. And then right below it, once you're done, you would want to include a string. So you would want to name your string color. And for now, just leave it with a pair of quotes and a semicolon at the end. Then for your actual while loop, there's actually two variations of a kind of a while loop. So basically, let's just do the first um, uh, like variation of this which is we'll do um, to basically write it. Let's, uh, we could take this out really quick. It would be, you would do something like while, and then inside of your parentheses, like inside of these would be your condition. So right now we have color dot is blank, which means like if the color is blank and such and such, you would put inside of these curly brackets like that so we put if the color is left if like your favorite color is left blank system dot up dot print line print enter your favorite color and color equal next line Me meaning that if you don't enter your favorite color it's going to keep keep asking you until that condition remains false um then once you do that and the condition is false it won't run anymore and then system dot out dot print line on the bottom over here we'll print a welcome message including name but we haven't written something asking our name so we can create another while loop so we can include another scanner 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 and that equals new scanner and system dot in and then right after that you want to some um a semicolon and then create another string call it name put that equals and then your that and then a semicolon next to create the actual while loop like I said, we do while, and then we put the parentheses to put our condition in. So we put name dot is and then blank, like we talked about before. And then you want those. Right after it, you want these curly brackets, like that. And then you want to write basically the same thing as here. So we'll just like copy paste it and change our variables like that. And then we'll put replace color with name. 
What is your name? And then we'll have system dot out dot print line welcome and whatever your name is. Um, but what about over here? Let's say we want like system dot out dot print line and we wanted to say maybe like um let's say pool uh a cool color is let's say my also that's my favorite There we go. And then we can do um, like a concatenation. We'll write plus, I over here, plus and then um, color. There we go. Now you want a semicolon at the end and let's run this. Give it a second. Okay, so we do have one error, which is at line number 29. Oh, we, had, we just have an extra curly bracket. Give it one second. Okay. So, now that the program is running, it's going to ask us, what's our favorite color? Okay, there we go. My favorite color is blue. So, it's going to say, that's my favorite color, too. Oh, we also need to add a space just because. There we go. And then it's going to ask me to enter my name. But what if I just put nothing? It's going to keep asking me to enter my name because say, Yug. And there we go. Now it says, welcome, Yug. Congratulations, that is your first um, while loop.